We are glad to have uh, Rear Admiral Sarath Veerasekhar, current uh, State Minister of uh, Provincial Council and uh, local governments um, um, joining us on a telephone interview today. And uh, we are glad to welcome. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Gitanjani. Um, and uh, thank you so much for joining the program today. So could you uh, please um, share your views about how the government is facing the current ongoing situation, especially uh, with the rise in the number of uh, cases of uh, COVID-19 pandemic? Yeah, well, thank you very much for inviting me for this uh, program. Uh, you know, Gitanji, uh, this is the uh, second wave uh, and we all know, the entire world knows that uh, how we handled the first one very effectively. And we were one of the best uh, in the whole world. Um, as far as the deaths, number of deaths were concerned, very minimum. And as far as uh, the controlling of this virus is concerned. And, you know, after uh, then few months, the second wave came. Uh, and it is, uh, as you know, it's, uh, spreading uh, very fast. And uh, you and I and everybody knows uh, that uh, we can't afford to lock down the entire country. Uh, the country has to run, right? And uh, so we had to come to a compromise uh, as long as uh, this virus is there. So the government and the health authorities um, continuously giving advice, as you know, from TVs and social media and uh, various electronic media and then they give guidelines as to how uh, to behave and various safety precautions to be taken and as far as the government is concerned now uh, they have conducted um, about more than 500,000 PCR tests so far and uh, you know the PHIs, the army, uh, the health authorities, the government officers and they are doing an excellent job. And Gitanjali, I must tell you that the people must know, and we are one of the very few countries, as far as I know, is the best country in the world who has a very good health arrangement, health network, right. because every family is being covered by health authorities. For example, every pregnant woman, every pregnant mother is uh, periodically visited by the matron, you see? So that type of a network we have in our country. Uh, most of the countries in the world don't have that network. So we are using that network to monitor every family uh, in the country. Uh, so um, that's the thing. And also, we know uh, the public, uh, normally the day-to-day -day wage earners are very uh, in a very bad shape. So the government is uh, giving 5,000 rupees for all the uh, people uh, who don't have any income in the lockdown areas and the families which are quarantined, uh, they get about 10,000 rupees worth of uh, dry rations and vegetables. So the government is doing maximum and uh, I think the people must appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, do you have any suggestions for the general public uh, to follow? follow? Yeah, Gita, I think the uh, suggestions in the sense now, for example, the public must know that we have to live with this uh, corona for the next few years until a vaccine is found, you see, uh, because we can't be uh, on uh, on this uh, curfew or lockdown uh, for the next few years, as long as the virus is there, we have to live by it. We have people have to come uh, to the open, they have to do their day-to-day -day businesses. So if you take precautions, uh, you, don't, uh, you don't have to be scared. Now, say for example, the medical staff, the nurses and the doctors who are in the IDH, you see, in the IDH, they, they deal with the patients but they don't contract the disease, you see, because they take uh, precautions. That's a very good example. The people who are dealing with people who are treating the patients don't get that because they take the full um, uh, full precautions. So my suggestion is for the public uh, to follow that and always wear the mask and do not uh, touch your face or mouth or ears uh, or nose and keep that uh, minimum distance. And if you have fever, you must immediately inform the authorities and uh, you must also prevent uh, unnecessary visits uh, to the relatives and friends 
and always uh, look at the, what the uh, TV news or radio news and then follow the guidelines given by the authorities. So this is a challenge, uh, Gita Anjani, and we have to face it bravely and defeat this enemy. We have done that. We have defeated the most ruthless terrorist organization in the world. And after 32 years, so we are a country like that. So if all our public get together and then look at this positively, I think we have to, uh, we can come out of it. So the public so cooperation has to be there. Yeah, as you know, uh, your background, sir, so people, I think people trust you and um, they can uh, follow uh, your advice. So until the pandemic is over, we all uh, should uh, follow this and uh, try to uh, get over this because we all have to act together if we want to get over this. So uh, we would also like to know about your uh, ministry's um, work currently. Yeah, okay. Before that, uh, just uh, let me add a few things. You see, and you know, because of this coronavirus, and obviously our uh, our economy has very detrimental effects. You see, our exports have reduced and uh, the tourists are not coming and our production have hampered and our day-to-day -day wage earners are in trouble, as I said earlier, and all our foreign exchange earners, you see, the, from Middle East and Bangladesh and other countries, they are coming in thousands. So uh, our economy is uh, going uh, down the line, and that is uh, not because of the fault of the uh, people, but um, definitely because of this virus and uh, because of lockdowns and things like that. But still the government, uh, still the public must know, Gita Anjani, uh, that the government with all these things, the government in this year itself has uh, settled $4.2 billion in foreign debt. You see, they have done that. And also we have earned, with all this pandemic and with all these difficulties, uh, we have earned $900 million uh, by exports only. So we are doing our best to recover the economy. So that's why I said the public also must get to the as patriotic publics, uh, public, uh, you see, who love the country, uh, they must come out and they must produce, uh, the agriculture must there and the industries must, must work. And if you take precautions, then I think we can uh, come around. So that's the thing. So with all these difficulties, the government is doing well. And uh, we uh, request the public uh, to cooperate with the government and uh, then uh, to um, get our country back on foot again. I think. And we said, about, yeah, you asked me about my ministry, as you, see, as you said, and the Minister of uh, Provincial Councils and the local government. And uh, Gitanya, there are about uh, there are 341 provincial councils and uh, these local governments in the in the uh, in the country covering the entire country. And my responsibility is to give them uh, the fullest support, all these local governments, uh, to uh, carry out their duties. And uh, you see, they are, and I'm giving funds for them to uh, improve the or construct the agri roads uh, and the rural village roads and maternity homes, all the primary health care, an elder's home, a children's home, and about children's park, uh, parks and uh, what you call this pajashalas, and then rural beaches. So all the uh, things that are required for the village uh, to improve the livelihood of the village and the day-to-day -day life of the villagers, you see, uh, we are giving funds for them to um, carry out uh, those uh, projects and then uh, for the uh, people uh, to uh, very conveniently attend to their day to day life. And also, uh, in the provincial, in the local governments, I am uh, trying to digitalize, you see, the computerize everything so that the public will don't have to be in queues and then get their work done. And also, my, uh, my dream, as long as I am there in this uh, ministry, Gita Anjan, is to make every city every town a beautiful and a clean city in this country and also the restrooms for the um, for the public in the main cities for example then people from Ampar okay. uh, is coming to Colombo so they when they when they uh, reach Colombo arrive at Colombo is about say 4 30 or 5 o'clock in the morning so they won't have to go and uh, go to have a wash or to change uh, so likewise uh, in every main city uh, my uh, they missed to construct a very uh, stable
state of the art restroom for them to uh, come and change, make a change and have to have a wash and then in the morning uh, to go to their work that they are come for so that is my uh, plan and also we are giving uh, five brigades for uh, most of the main uh, local government and uh, town councils and also compactors right for the garbage disposal things like that. so a lot of work has been done and we have prepared plan for the uh, next year that sounds very interesting thank you so much for that update and lastly uh, any message you would like to uh, give to our listeners to the public yeah well Gita, I, mean, I was in the navy for 35 years i was in the civil defense force after that in for four years and i was deputy minister in ampara so after 44 years only that i came to colombo and uh, i contested and became first in the colombo district uh, and my entire life uh, has been uh, dedicated to the country so my uh, advice to the public is uh, we are all patriots we all love our country so if you all love the country all the challenges we must uh, face very bravely and then we all must get together to uh, bring up this country again uh, to the level that our when our ancient kings were ruled in this country we are one of the we have one of the very proud history uh, about 2500 years of written history we have uh, and one of the and the first ever historically recorded diplomatic mission has been when king uh, devan and prince uh, sent a special envoy uh, to partly to to uh, king asoka you see so we have been uh, we have been deploying uh, envoys in the rome also uh, so that is our history so we must uh, learn our history we must get uh, that panare from that uh, inspiration from that history and then definitely uh, we we will able to will be able to uh, get back to the, our previous track and then uh, shine thank you very much for that yeah no one is safe uh, until everyone is safe uh, as uh, mentioned by the uh, head of uh, the WHO uh, recently so thank you very much for joining us uh, today okay, on the program you. and we thank wish you. you all the best okay, for your you. future we were in a conversation today with uh, rear admiral sarathvira sekara current state minister of provincial councils and local governments